Hello, Peter I am the Zulf so you have here, and welcome back to a brand new video. So, today I'm gonna be doing five walkthrough solves on 2x2. Two two two. So, I'll be doing an average of five, doing a walkthrough solve per thing. So, these will come in handy later. First, for a follow along, the algorithm is as follows R2, U prime, R2, F, U, F prime, R2, U, F, U prime. So, first, be doing it slowly so telling you what I'll be what I would do when I see this and then I'll do I'll be doing one solve like one actual solve now look here look at this probably the first side I'll solve is orange so here I see that I got two opposites green and blue as you know green and blue are opposites on the cube and the first piece I would insert is this one obviously I cannot keep the third one because I cannot connect it so that has to be solved later what I notice is if we solve it, we'll create another opposite here. Meaning that when I'll enter this last one, I'll have all opposites down here. This will, this also tells me that in the end for the PLL cases, I'll only have three possible PLL cases. This one, the checkerboard pattern, the one that also has opposite on top, which is solved with an R2, F2, R2. The one with one bar, which is with one bar in the rest of it, which is solved like this. And the last one is if everything gets solved up, I will have to turn it around and kind of solve it like this. So the good thing about recognizing, so the first thing I'll do when in expansion, recognize how to solve my first phase and the and the, how these are placed. So that when I do my P, when I do my OLL, when I finish that, I'll only have to look up here to know which case I'll have. So now. Solve the first layer. So, for this case, I first insert this piece and then into the other one. So individually, I I didn't have found, found a way to make it more efficient. Then I see this OLL case. So the two bars in this. So I have to do U two, F, double sexy move, and F prime. So now I see I got everything solved, which will bring me to the case I had on I showed you on this cube, which I have to flick this up. Do the alg and it's the cube is solved. If you don't know um, the algs, then uh, well you have to learn Ortega basically to follow along with this. So if you don't know the Ortega method, I would I wouldn't recommend this tutorial. Well, this walkthrough solves more than a tutorial. It's not really a tutorial. So now I'll do be doing same solve with times. Ah, I kind of messed up my PLL. So this this is the solve. I got a 5.9, kind of decent, but could have done better. Okay, so second solve of the three. The scramble is as following: F2 or U or prime F prime U2 F2 R2. So immediately, what I notice is this green bar, and I see these two diag pieces. I know I can connect these two. And then put them together with this, so I know I'm gonna I'm probably gonna be going for green in this for this scenario. So what I know that if these two connect, I'd have the orange and the yellow together. So, and I also have an orange and white here. So I know that I won't I won't get the the case where everything is solved, and I won't get the case where it's opposites. I'll be getting a bar case for the green side. Now to know which bar I'm gonna make, I, can, I have to look at these pieces. So this being connected, I know it cannot be. And this being a yellow, I know it cannot be a yellow bar behind. I know it cannot be a bar here or a bar here. So it has to, so by elimination it has to be a red bar. In fact, to solve this, what I do is put this down, move this, and connect these two, and then put them down. And as I said, red bar. There we go. So now once I would have done this, I would recognize immediately the anti soon case. So the U prime and the anti soon alg. Now, because I knew that I only could have a bar down, I would have only one of three possible cases for PLL. The two bars, the one, one bar in all opposites up, and the classic beginner, beginner's uh, message case. Now here, so here I know that this is the bar, so I immediately look right, left, and back, sorry, I immediately look left and right, I don't see no bars, so I know the bars 
So no, I know if there is a bar, it's gonna be on the back. Also, looking left and right, I don't see opposites, so I know there's gonna be a bar. Now, as I'm starting this, as I'm about to start this out, also look at this piece here. Because that will indicate me which color will be here for the AUF. So I see it's orange, so I know it's gonna be an orange bar here. So I know that as soon as I finish the alg, I have to a U to solve the case to solve the cube. So now I I do the K I do the alg. There we go. And as I as I predicted, U to solve the cube. Okay. So now on to the time to solve. Oh, uh, I scrambled it wrong. Oh, okay, it's okay. The scramble is the same, but the scramble is looking at the wrong side. Five point three. Usually, these uh, bar cases are probably the one you are kind of hope to get, as they're the easiest to recognize AUF, and also it's kind of a fast solve. Okay, I'll be moving on to the third solve of the average of five. Okay, so the third scramble for these walkthrough solves is f prime r2, f prime u, f prime r2, u r prime, f u prime. So the first thing I immediately notice are the two v's that are present here. So I know that to solve the red, I'd have to move this away, move this, move this up, and insert it. And then to solve the blue, I'd have to do an r2, connect these two, do a u prime, and put them down. So that would. Uh, Make for the two V cases. We're also looking around if, to see if there's any one move Vs between the two bar, so this one. I'd see that this is one move away from creating a V, in fact. So I want to see if I actually can cancel and directly insert the green piece here. And I see that I can do so. So if by doing a U2 and an R prime, I'll actually solve it faster than using starting from any of the Vs. So I decide to do go from the green. Now to look at for which PLL cases I could get. I see that this green piece will go back and to solve the white bar. White bar so will be on the back of my solve, I'll have to keep this in mind for recognition of the PLL. I also see that here there's no bar, so I know that, that will, this will be the only bar present. And so I'll know I could only get one of three cases, the two bars, uh, the one bar case, and the beginners, uh, beginners uh, case. So now I proceed on to solve the green, and it's kind of lucky. I got the this case for uh, OLL, and I know that when I have this, I will I will have opposites here, solving it with the alg I use. So R two U two U R two U two. Uh, oh God, <laughs> I messed up my. You, you, I think you know the alg if you know Ortega. So now I know that my bot. I have opposites here. My bar is behind, so I immediately do an x x two I think it is with my cube. Then proceed to do a u a u prime for AUF reasons. Because for AF reasons, I know that if I have a white piece here on the left side, so I have a v like this, when I do the alg, AF will be solved. Some sometime. So this was I just. If you have these, I'd always recommend doing either a U or a U prime. If you cannot guess immediately, it doesn't really matter because even if you get the white piece on the right, you know that AUF will be U two. So that actually like make it easier for AUF recognition. Okay, let's do a solve. So all time. Oi. That fell off. So that was a 5.2 solve. Kind of a bit slower. I expect a bit more. Usually when I get uh, these PLL cases, it should be a bit better. Okay, moving on to the four and second to last solve, which I'll walk through. Okay, so doing a scramble actually, but mistake already scramble on this cube before. So <laughs> the scramble is R prime U two, R two F two, R prime F, R two F, R prime U prime. If you want to follow along. So uh, there's gonna be two things I immediately notice. So the a V, but the V is the case I usually don't like, which is I have to move this away, then do the insert. Uh, what I also notice is by looking slightly around, there's a V which is one move away. So here in this case, oh god, I lost it. it's the orange. Now what I also notice is that if I do a U prime, 
uh, sorry yeah u prime i'll connect these two and solve the face faster so i know that it's gonna be orange that i'm going for and not the v like i did here so what i also notice is that the i'll be getting a green bar why because here they're not opposites so i'm not gonna be getting the opposites case but they're also not a bar so i'm not gonna be getting the all boys case then i know that these two will connect to not create a bar so it's either gonna be a bar behind or a bar in front the bar behind is impossible as a yellow piece is gonna end up here i know the yellow piece is here so i know by elimination it's, i'm gonna be creating a green bar there we go now it's kind of easy to recognize it's gonna be an anti soon case for the way these two are aligned so if it were to be a soon case it would be these two would be flipped but since they're not flipped i know it's an anti soon and I can directly move into the alg. I'll then directly notice that this is solved and this is solved, meaning that I have this this PLL case where all the these are solved and only one bar is present. So I can eliminate the other two possible PLL cases and directly move to do the alg and solve it. Uh, I struggled the PLL. It was a 5.7 solve. Okay, so the final scramble of today, if you want to follow along, is F U prime F2 U F prime U F prime U. So immediately, the first thing that I would notice is these greens. So for these greens, I would say that I could directly solve the V by doing a R prime. But this will give me this kind of scenario, which is not very favorable. Looking on to the other piece, I'd see the white. White, the view could be solved like this, but it would give me this case, which also isn't too favorable. And for the yellow, by the way, the pieces are put, I can immediately tell it won't be something good. Now, one thing that I know is that it's if instead of doing a R, in this case, or R, sorry, R if I'm looking here, I could do, I can make it an R2, so make it go one up. And what this would allow me to do is connect these two pieces and put it down. So instead of directly inserting, then inserting this way, I, c I can go one step further and then have an easier insert. So uh, the second thing I'll know is that I'll have all the, all the pieces solved here. How do I know that? Is that by doing this, in any case, if I either do this or even this, I'll end up with two bars minimum and when i know when i have two bars i can i'll i know I'll have all this layer solved now the three keys uh, the three pll cases I can get when i have this three solved is pll skip so having everything solved sorry uh case with opposites on top so uh adjacent uh, a direct swap and the adjacent swap which is the kind of the beginner's uh, method alg as, I'm, as I've referred to it this whole video. So knowing this, I'll immediately start my solve doing this. Now the thing I noticed directly from seeing these diagonal pieces, I know that I'll have this OLL case, so the one I'm seeing right now. And I'll also look to, immediately look to the right, like I mean look to these two pieces. I see that here I have a blue and here I have no blue. So I know that the other blue piece will be here by elimination. So the, I do a U prime. I'll then proceed to do the ALK. And I'll see I have a bar here. Now instead of rotating the cube to do the ALK, I'll do a U2. But knowing that these two were in opposite opposite colors, so red and orange, I know that this will cause the third layer to be solved. So I know that for AUF, I'll have to be doing a uh, U prime, I think it is. So doing the ALK of the adjacent swap. There we go. And U prime to solve the, the cube. And this is over. Now final alg. No, sorry, final real time solve of the day. Ah, uh, it's kind of bad. I messed up the OLL. Six point five. So this is all about to say about these five uh, solves. If you still have uh, any questions on how to get better, I don't know, first layer building on 2x2 two, uh, two two or anything of the genre, make sure to let me know in the comment below. This was also suggested by this by the guy that's appearing now on screen. 
So if you like him, you want to appear on the screen in one of my videos, make sure to suggest a video idea for the cubing section. Um, I am always willing to take them. Next week though will probably be a talking cubing methods video, as I haven't done this for the previous two weeks. Well yeah, apart from that, I've been in Buddha's Wolf to Revive here. Uh, see you in the next video, next week, 10, uh, 5pm, uh, sorry, 6pm GMT, Tuesdays, every week, cubing videos, yes, English, goodbye.